guys. Um, I'm just uh, going to make a short video based upon an EMP scenario. Um, if you do take some time and go through the basics of an elect electromagnetic pulse or an e EMP, you can then spin off your thoughts and try to figure out how the world would look like in the aftermath of an EMP, whether it's a global EMP or a local EMP. Now the difference is that a local EMP would be caused by a nuclear warhead, which should be uh, fired in the upper atmosphere and that would cause an EMP. Um, but one of the most likely threats actually is from our sun. Uh, it's entering solar maximum and the EMP output from the sun from an X flare that is Earth directed could actually black out the entire planet. And that would cause mayhem. That would put us 150 years back in time. Um, it would fry everything electronic, it would fry the transformers, the power grid, everything would be gone with the big of an eye. Now, what would happen? <laughs> well, first of all, you would just experience that everything would be blacked out. No cell phone no electricity in your house, most cars would stop working as they uh, have electronics in them. Uh, basically just a total standstill. Um, first, first off people would be very confused uh, because it would be impossible to get any information. There are no radios, uh, the TV doesn't work and the satellites are gone. So getting information would be very difficult and if you are unprepared you would most likely don't know what is going on. Um, that would cause uh, a lot of people to get very nervous and in most likelihood you would see looting in uh, major cities just like we saw after Hurricane Katrina. Um, within a few days food stores would run out either from uh, over shopping or from looting and as we go on. Um, that would cause uh, a lot of people to get very nervous and in most likelihood you would see looting in uh, major cities just like we saw after Hurricane Katrina. Um, within a few days food stores would run out either from uh, over shopping or from looting and as people grow more hungry you would be at the risk of getting marked. Um, if you are dependent on hospital services, you are most likely dead. The hospitals would be effectively out of work. Uh, no machines, uh, medicine stores would run low within a few days. Uh, there wouldn't actually be much they could do. If you are a diabetic, you would have serious problems. If you have a max store of insulin, which would last you for six months if kept refrigerated you would die after six months. But most would die before that, and that's a big chunk of the Earth population just going out of the winter right there. Um, you wouldn't be able to get water, because the water in, in your house comes from pumps. The pumps would be out of service, so no water. Um, you wouldn't be able to flush your toilet, so sanitation could be a problem within a very short while. Uh, heating, if you live in a temperate climate you um, depend on either remote heating or uh, electrical ovens, you would begin freezing. You would need a fire stove of some sort. Um, so basically an estimate is that for a global EMP within a few months you would see a 10 to 20 percent decrease in the world population just there. And uh, during a couple of years it would be tremendous. Um, there is of course methods of repairing the damage but the world capacity for producing uh, major transformers are around 10 to 50 per year and that relies on the factories actually being up and working which they wouldn't be. So the question is would the governments of the world be able to function enough to begin the repairment and that's a big X factor and a big F because the governments would be put basically out of business. They have no way of communicating. Um, most likely the economy would be in shadows. Uh, it would be impossible. Uh, now the governments have uh, 
some measurements, but they are mostly military. Some military trucks, communications and so on, but no civilian precautions have been made and uh, you'll be basically left to fend for yourself. So uh, that's just a basic scenario walkthrough from an EMP. Um, and it is something that should be taken very seriously.